so welcome to my new Metro Prime series of medium effort content. This is going to be tall rooms. So I'm just going to explain tall rooms that are extremely punishing if you mess them up. I'm going to explain how to do them correctly in a couple ways and then I will show you a backup so that you don't have to redo the entire room. The first one we're doing here is monitor station trip 2. This is leaving Fendrana Drifts and heading towards the artifact of strength up in that room up there. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab this lock on. We're going to hold the B button so that we don't get an accidental dash. Because, uh, you know, you might, if you tap B like this, you might get a dash like that and fall down. That's not what you want at all. You can avoid that by just holding B when you jump. I, I didn't know that for the longest time, so I'm explaining it in this video. Now, when you jump, jump to this spot here, forward. You know, we want to progress to this door, so jumping over here doesn't help us. Jumping over here doesn't help us as much as jumping here, to the farthest corner of this thing. Keep this in mind everywhere you jump, anywhere in the entire game, in your whole run. Think about this in every room you're doing. What is the equivalent of jumping to this spot instead of jumping here? You know, you're, you're missing out on fractions of a second um, with hundreds of decisions that you're making throughout the game. So stop doing that and think about, you know, where should I, where should I jump to? Where should I land to? Where should I walk? Keep all that stuff in mind when you're playing the game. Okay, so lock onto this boy and uh, hold down B and jump forward again. Jump as, as far down this bridge as you can and then you just strafe left twice. From here, all you need to do is dash left and R jump when you space jump. And uh, that's literally it. Uh, and now you're at the artifact room here. If you're super scared of doing that dash for whatever reason, do a single dash and just hit these monitors. Then you just look down a little bit, walk forward, grab the puffer, and then dash left, space jump quickly, and you won't have any problems as long as you have acceptable dash technique. If you're having trouble with this dash, you, you need to practice dashing. You need to watch a video about dashing. You need to rewatch Justin's Any% percent tutorial that is out of scope for this video. Um, if you're really that bad at dashing, um, just do an R jump. If you manage to fall down for some reason, you're actually in luck. So this room is pretty easy to climb once you fall down. So just jump on this, and after your first jump, tap backwards. So if I just jump twice, I'll just hit my head like that. So make sure you jump back, and then just jump back again. And you'll land right here. Now there's a standable spot right here. So just think of it as, you know, you're on the slope. You jump to the left, to the top of the slope, and then you jump forward. And then you simply jump out to the right, and then forward. So out to the right, and then forward. And then you just jump up twice again, and you're back up top. No problem. So say you fall down like this. It's just two jumps. Back to this, up here, and you're back up top. No big deal. I've seen people fail this dash and lose like 30 seconds climbing this room again by falling down, and then like they jump over here, and then they do this because they land it for any percent, and then they jump on this, and then they're like, oh, what do I do now? And then they're like, well, you know, let's go over here. And I understand the idea of just doing what you know, but I'm, I'm here to tell you that there are better recoveries for probably all of the tall rooms that you just don't know because it wasn't in a tutorial that you watched. You didn't watch a streamer do it because you don't spend a lot of time watching Twitch streams. And you don't necessarily have to do that stuff. But keep in mind that watching other people play the game um, is likely to show you things that have been learned and forgotten in the past 20 years. So... Uh, if you really want to be good at the game, you have to probably spend a lot of time studying it. And if that doesn't sound like fun, um, you know, you're probably not that serious of a player. And that's okay. I'll make more videos so it's easier to ingest some of this knowledge when it's when you think it's relevant to you. 
But uh, just keep in mind that for now, sort of passing things down, you know, around the campfire uh, is pretty much the way that the Prime community has worked for the past 20 years. So uh, if you want to get good, that's probably what you're going to have to do. It's going to end this video. I will edit this some. Let me know if you like it. I'll put it up on my East Prime channel since my main channel is now a car channel. Thanks for watching.